After The Passion of the Christ came out in 2004, directed by Mel Gibson and starring Jim Caviezel as Jesus, people have been talking about a possible sequel. Now, this sequel isn't just going to be a repeat of the same events from the first movie, it's not going to be a boring chronological retelling of those final 12 hours of Jesus' life. Despite the first movie being a big success at the box office and getting three Oscar nominations, it also faced criticism. Some people didn't like how it portrayed certain things and there were even accusations of anti-Semitism. Now, Mel Gibson, who was not only the director but also the writer and producer of the first movie, has confirmed that a sequel is in the works. This time, it's called The Passion of the Christ Resurrection. Jim Caviezel, who played Jesus, has been involved in discussions about the sequel since 2016, and he believes it's going to be a massive film, maybe even two films. Despite the controversies and criticisms, the first movie made a ton of money, and there has been ongoing speculation about a sequel. Finally, in 2023, Gibson openly talked about it, saying, The Passion of the Christ Resurrection will be coming out soon. In an interview, he emphasized that you can't rush this kind of project. It has to be done with care and precision. So it looks like the sequel is on its way, and it's going to explore more than just the events of the crucifixion. It's delving into the resurrection. So Mel Gibson is taking the sequel seriously, emphasizing the need for careful consideration in depicting the story. Jim Caviezel is set to return for this one. According to Gibson, there are two scripts in the works. One is described as an acid trip, suggesting it might be quite unconventional and mind-bending. The other follows a more traditional structure, something audiences might expect. Gibson explained that the sequel will take audiences into different realms, including hell, it seems like it's going to be quite an adventurous and unconventional journey, exploring aspects beyond the crucifixion. Gibson even mentioned witnessing the destruction of angels in the storyline. It's sounding pretty intense and, in his own words, ridiculous. When asked about the timeline for production, Gibson seemed open but cautious. He mentioned potential start dates ranging from January to the end of the fall. It seems like they're still figuring out the details. In a conversation on the Shaw Ryan show on YouTube, Caviezel discussed the possibility of reprising his role and the potential release date, hinting at the unique challenges and excitement of playing such an iconic figure. Newsweek reached out to Gibson's representatives for more details, but as of now, it seems like they're keeping some aspects under wraps. It's clear that the Passion of the Christ Resurrection is in the works, and the updates suggest it's going to be a sequel that might stir up more debate and differing opinions. The first movie had a massive impact globally in 2004, especially among American evangelicals and Christians worldwide, despite facing its share of controversies. Now, with the sequel, it looks like Gibson is gearing up for another bold exploration of the story, taking audiences to places they might not expect. The Passion of the Christ, released in 2004, stirred up a lot of attention and controversy, now, nearly 20 years later, Mel Gibson is working on a sequel called The Passion of the Christ Resurrection. This film will focus on the three days between Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, exploring the belief that Jesus descended into hell during that time. Jim Caviezel is set to return for this sequel. Mel Gibson and screenwriter Randall Wallace have been developing the script for the past 10 years. The film is expected to start filming in spring 2023 with a potential release date in 2024, possibly coinciding with the 20th anniversary of the original movie. Several cast members from the first film are also returning, including Maya Morgenstern as Mary, Francesco DeVito as Peter, and Christo Jove as John. However, it's uncertain if Monica Bellucci or Rosalinda Celentano will reprise their roles as Magdalene and Satan. The story of the sequel will focus on the days between Jesus' death and resurrection, exploring aspects not explicitly mentioned in the Bible. Some scenes are inspired by Catholic visionaries like Anne Catherine Emmerich and Mary of Jesus of Agreda. One significant event, known as the Harrowing of Hell, where Jesus descends into hell, will be a central theme. Mel Gibson, while claiming inspiration from Scripture for The Passion of the Christ, also took creative liberties incorporating elements from Catholic visionaries Mary of Jesus of Agreda and Anne Catherine Emmerich. These visions influence scenes 
such as the vivid portrayal of the crucifixion and additional roles for Mary. Some scenes, however, are entirely outside biblical accounts. One notable addition is a flashback where Jesus invents a table, a departure from historical records. While little is known about Jesus' life before his public ministry, the scene goes beyond what is traditionally accepted. It depicts Jesus crafting tables and chairs to provide for his mother's needs. This fictional moment, although historically inaccurate, serves to highlight the close bond between Jesus and Mary. Additionally, it suggests Jesus' divine knowledge from an early age. This scene, while not from the Bible, was an artistic choice to enhance the storytelling in the film. The Passion of the Christ includes a flashback that depicts a powerful gospel scene where Jesus is confronted by a woman caught in adultery. According to the biblical account, Jesus is given the chance to stone her as per the law, but he refuses, instead writing something mysterious in the sand and inviting those without sin to cast the first stone. The film attributes this scene to Mary Magdalene, portrayed by Monica Bellucci. However, the Bible doesn't specify that the adulterous woman was Mary Magdalene, and this conflation is a Catholic tradition, raising questions among modern Bible scholars. Another departure from biblical accounts occurs in the portrayal of the Garden of Gethsemane. In the Bible, Jesus goes to the Garden to pray and prepare for the cross. However, influenced by Anne Catherine Emmerich's vision, the film transforms this moment into a temptation scene. Here, the devil is present, attempting to persuade Jesus not to go to the cross. The film shows Jesus resisting the temptation and crushing a serpent beneath his heel, referencing Genesis 3.15, the first messianic prophecy in the Bible. This interpretation aligns with certain biblical tensions. As some verses suggest, the devil tried to dissuade Jesus from the cross, and when Jesus committed to it, Satan attacked with full force. The Passion of the Christ introduces additional scenes involving Judas Iscariot, deviating from the biblical narrative. The film suggests that Judas was manipulated by Satan into betraying Jesus and portrays him leading a large group of Jewish temple guards in the garden, contrary to historical and political realities. According to the Gospels, Judas was accompanied by a crowd armed with swords and clubs, the portrayal of Judas's guilt and subsequent suicide is dramatic, with Satan and demonic children taunting him. Mel Gibson's interpretation of Judas is influenced by the visions of Mary and Jesus of Greta. The inclusion of Saint Veronica is another departure from the Bible. The film features a scene where an unnamed woman, later identified as Saint Veronica, wipes Jesus's face with a cloth marked with an image of his face. Veronica, mentioned in extra-biblical accounts and emphasized in Anne Catherine Emmerich's visions, is the patron saint of French craftsmen and photographers. Well, that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.